Women and Drones is really the reason why I'm here. They are my community of practitioners. They are my go-to group. Without that community, I would not have had the exposure to all of the different fields in the UAS space. Dr. Nikki Brown, I am the current training coordinator slash director uh, for Odessa College Law Enforcement Training Academy. Diane Boer, and uh, I am the owner of Drone Zone New Jersey. And I'm a senior systems network engineer. I'm Dr. Robin Murphy, and I'm the Raytheon Professor of Computer Science and Engineering at Texas A&M. CEO and Chief Grantologist at my own company, Drone Grantology. I'm interested in learning how to use my drone in capacities that can help other people in emergency situations. And so this event gives that chance. And it also adds a bit of realism for the training of how to go to disaster. And so seeing this and how an incident is run is also very important. And these type of exercises just allow us to test the new technology and the communications available through whatever type of device you use to see what's applicable for the given disaster at any given time. And I've noticed that this particular part of the drone industry is very male dominated. So I wanted to start a, a, another resource for women who are interested in drone racing. So 2016, when I was assigned to the Police Academy in St. Louis, I attended my first drone class through Drone Academy and that's when I realized this type of technology or that type of technology could be implemented in traffic crash investigations which was one of the courses that I was teaching. It's one thing to take your Part 107 test and pass the knowledge exam, it's another thing to get field training and Women in Drones has really helped that. I hope to let women in drones go far beyond what Sharon ever even thought about. And so women in drones is just wonderful. A lot of times females don't always get the opportunity. So when they see that representation, they understand that someone else is doing it, they can do it also. And I appreciate that about Ms. Rosmar.